I'm John O'Neill and I'm a painter, originally from the UK, but I'm here in Norway for a little while doing um, some work on landscape, obviously the Norwegian landscape. I started here by doing a lot of plain air sketching with watercolour and uh, dry media, line and wash, that kind of thing. And then that progressed to uh, taking oil painting equipment outside and working almost in a very rough sketch-like a la prima way to try and capture some of the mood that's particularly unique to Norway. We have beautiful colours here. We have very interesting weather and the scenery is just so diverse. You know, you can go a few miles in one direction and you're in snow. Um, it rains quite a lot. And with that, that, I mean, the rain is a good thing. But with that, you have all sorts of drama in the sky. You have different purples, greys, blues among the clouds. And I really love that. I'm really drawn to it. I think they're spectacular. The mountains and the fields just look so majestic. You can't come from a place like I come from and not have your jaw down to the floor when you look at those places. And they're really big with tourists. And you can see why, you know, it's it's just captivating. For painting landscape in oils here in Norway, um, I decided to get it out of the plain air environment and do some studio work, which allows me to work a bit more experimentally. Things like uh, dry media, metals, uh, and spraying gamsol, which is a sort of a, a thinner. It's been a lot of fun. It's been an educational process. I've been able to do things that I don't know if I could have done if I was based at home. I have to confess that I enjoy making a bit of a mess in the studio. Don't worry, I clean it up, but um, I just enjoy seeing paint flying around everywhere. I love the smell of my oil paints. I love mixing them. I love seeing them on the palette in a brush, even on a rag. The palette that I use here in Norway is really different to that of the UK. My greens are all very different. The colours that I use to make the sky all seem very different. The light here is it's hard to put my finger on why it's different, but it really is. I know that when I go back to the UK and paint, it doesn't quite seem to work using the Norwegian palette and I have to readapt. We have lovely scenery here. We have such intricate coastline dotted with loads of little, you know, weather beaten islands, some inhabited, some uninhabited. We have the fields. We have the mountains, we have forests, we have beautiful lakes, we have these streams that f flow so fast with all of our lovely Norwegian rainwater. You know, we have beaches. You wouldn't really necessarily think that Norway has such beautiful white sandy beaches. And then you can look out to amazing seascapes where the weather kind of tells you it's the boss. And I love that about the Norwegian landscape as well. You know, you could arguably say in other places that man has tamed it. We've got roads going exactly where we want. We can put farms, we can put buildings exactly where we want. And in Norway, I don't know if you can be that decisive. And I, I like the way that nature has uh, nature has this way of saying, you'll do it on my terms.